There's a widespread reluctance to report sex assault and rape, and we're asking why. Well, especially when we're talking about violent crimes, some of the most degrading crimes. It is because of the very allegations against ASU and 55 other schools tonight, possibly mishandling the cases of victims who do come forward. ABC 15's Elizabeth Irwin is live tonight, and Elizabeth, a big question for students around campus tonight. So what did you learn? Katie and Steve, I found out a lot of people just don't think those cries for help are going to go anywhere. A lot of places on campus like ASU have these emergency call boxes, but hey, the reality is a lot of times sexual assaults don't happen in well-lit areas or places you can easily call for help. Tonight, the people I spoke with say they understand those victims' frustrations. Girls are scared. Anisha Hindosha voices what a lot of young women will tell you why victims of sexual assault often don't come forward. People will find any way to twist the scenario and make it seem like it was the girl's fault. She was drunk. She was doing whatever it was that she was doing. She was obviously provoking it. It's not just women. It's women and men. And I would say that men, it's an even worse problem because there's the stigmas that women have when problems like this occur. And then it's tenfold for men. Brianna is a senior interdisciplinary studies major. Anisha, a sophomore studying poli sci and economics. I always carry pepper spray with me. Um, I did a little bit of self-defense just so if something were to happen, I, I'd have a way of defending myself. Neither of these young ladies have been victims of sexual assault. Do you know someone who's been a victim of sexual assault? Uh, yes, actually, a friend of a friend was a victim. Yes, I do. Chances are, you know a victim too. You look at a campus of 75,000 students, and the last statistic showed that less than 30, uh, 30 people were victims at ASU. So it shows that there's either a problem with reporting or a problem with how those numbers are represented because that's, the statistics don't line up. And the bottom line for both of these young ladies is support, not only here on campus for a feeling of safety and a feeling of support when you're reporting these kind of issues, but also support for the victims of these horrific crimes. Yeah, there's so much fear, so much anticipation, all kinds of shame involved as well in these things, so you can understand why. Thanks, and Elizabeth. Here's ASU's statement. They take all Title IX sexual misconduct complaints very seriously, thoroughly investigate them, and if violations are found, deliver swift and appropriate punishment. ASU could lose federal student financial aid programs. But again,